All right, so now we're going to be moving on to our second video, which is still going to be solving exponential equations. We're still in section 7.5. Um, and we are on our second video. All right, so the last video we did, if I gave you four is equal to two raised to the x power, uh, we would go ahead and we would try and rewrite these two bases so that they're the same number. Well, I can rewrite four as two squared, which is then equal to two to the x power, so that means x has to be equal to two. That's what we did in the last video. This video, what if I gave you five is equal to two to the x power? Well, we can't rewrite five as two raised to some power, so we're not able to use this method to solve for this. So there's another method that we have to do. All right, so now we know that logarithms and exponentials are inverse operations. So if we have two equations that are, that two exponential equations that are equal to each other, so m is equal to n, we can then take the logarithm of each side and it's still equal. All right, so we will take the logarithm because it's the inverse of an exponential equation. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So that's the second method that we're going to learn to solve for this. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. So we have 15 raised to 3x power is equal to 285. So the first thing that we were trying before is can we rewrite our bases as the same number raised to a power? So 15 and 285. Well, we can't rewrite these as the same number to a power. So now we have to use this new method. All right, so we know the inverse operation of exponents or exponentials is logarithms. So what we will do is we will take the logarithm of each side. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other. And since 15 raised to 3x power is equal to 285, we can take the logarithms of each side. Now, I'm strategically taking log with the base of 10 because then it just makes it easier for us to go ahead and plug these into our calculator. Later on, when we are doing um, a different type of problem, we're going to be a little bit more uh, strategic in how we, we pick these. All right, but now, as we learned in the last section, if we have a logarithm with the number raised to the power, we can bring that out front. So now we can rewrite this as 3x times log of 15 is equal to log of 285. So since this log of 15 represents some number, if we want to isolate x, we can go ahead and we're going to do a step by step as we can divide each side by log of 15. So we can go ahead and plug in log of 285 divided by log of 15 into our calculator. And then you will get that 3x is equal to approximately 2.087. Now, what I want you to do for this is in your calculator, I want you to use the answer button. All right, so when we're doing this, I don't want you to round these decimals. I want you to use the answer button. All right, and then from here, if we want to solve for x now, all we have to do is divide each side by 3, and then x will be approximately equal to 0 0.6958. And depending on how I ask you to round this decimal, uh, maybe to the hundredth, maybe to the thousandth. So maybe to the second decimal place, maybe to the third. All right. Um, it's important, though, when you're doing this step, when you divide the two logarithms, that when you get your number in your calculator, you're going to use the answer button going forward. So that way you're not rounding your number too early and you're getting the most accurate number you possibly can. All right. There's one more example that we're going to do that's like this. And then that's it for this video. All right. So for this one, it's modeling with an exponential equation. All right. So wood is a sustainable, renewable, natural resource when you manage for it properly. Your lumber company has 1.2 million trees, or 1,200,000 trees. You plan to harvest 7% of the trees each year. How many years will it take for you to harvest half of the trees? So first we need to come up with an equation. Our R is equal to 7%, so that means our R is equal to 0 0.07. Now, if we are harvesting this each year, our B, our base, is equal to 1 plus R, but since this is harvesting, our B is going to be equal to 1 minus R. So our B is equal to 1 minus 0 0.07, or our B is equal to 0.93. All right, so we know our equation. We have Y is equal to A times B to the X power. Well, we just said that B is equal to 0.93. So our Y is equal to A times 0.93 to the X power. And remember, our A is our initial starting point, so it's 1.2. So our Y is equal to 1,200,000 times 0.93 raised to the X power. 
All right, now this question asks us how long will it take for us to have half of our trees? So half of 1.1,200,000 1, is 600,000. So we can then go ahead and generate the equation 600,000 is equal to 1,200,000 times 0.93 raised to the x power. All right, so if we want to go ahead and solve for this, the first thing that we'll do is we will divide each side by 1,200,000. Then you'll get 0.5 is equal to 0.93 raised to the x power. All right, I'm going to just go ahead and move the screen down a little bit so we can write this out. Now, we can't rewrite 0.5 and 0.93 to be the same base raised to a power, so we need to take the logarithm of each side. So it'll be log of 0.5 is equal to log of 0.93 raised to the x power. We will move this x power out front, so it's log of 0.5 is equal to x times log of 0.93. Then we will divide each side by log of 0.93. And then we will get x is equal to approximately 9.55 years, so approximately nine and a half years. So in nine and a half years, you will then be at half of your trees. All right, so that's it. That's it for this video. There's one more video, then we're done for this section.